right over here and if you're well the dog's not gonna let it happen but sometimes there's like a wood duck or something it's a weird time of year but it's a cool spot oh yeah look at pretty look at that it's a nice day oh meanwhile he's gonna go check it out where are you going Hey Wally, Wally, it's cold. You can't help him. He got all the he's he's got lab in him. He's got so much stuff in him. He's definitely got lab. He's got web feet. Shepherd, husky. They said Great Pyrenees. Hey Wally, what are you doing? Come on, we got a hike to do. Jeez. I noticed when I talk to my dog, I I raise my voice. Wally. Oh boy. Oh, it's so pretty out here. All right, keep going. The old tree blaze. Tree blaze. Oh yeah, look at all the snow. You know, I usually put on my hiking pants. Today I was just like, ah, F it, you don't need it. I kind of wish I did. I don't really like hiking in cotton so much. But, that's okay, we don't need it. We go like old school, back in the day. All right, trail. You can see a little squirrel house. Check this. Little rock in there. Huh. I wonder if this will go to the top. You see anything in there? I ordered that media mod for my uh, GoPro setup, so hopefully that'll be cool. I'll use my moose jaw bucks. Ooh. Okay, if anybody's wondering, trail. There's a stick holding up that rock. Good job, stick. Very nice. There's another uh, small little pond there. Oh, look at that tree. This tree went real boom. So down right there. And again, our, our good little mountain communities. Little trail clearing. Very nice. Yeah, keep going. Now I'm getting closer to the falls. I'm gonna to want to put Wally on a, a leash here. Wow, look at this deadfall. This must have been recent. I'll walk around it. Oh, another windstorm. Oh, how do you like the snow? Are you good? Okay, so I've got Wally on a leash now. And um, yeah, so this is why I like to have his harness, but he'll do okay. So, come on. Woo. The one thing about me. I'm not a big fan of heights, man. If I could be, I could be in a helicopter strapped in all day. If I have harnesses and stuff, I feel so much better. But I'm just freestyling. Whew, you get the woogie boogies. You know what I mean? That weird feeling in your gut. Wow, look at all this. Wow, geez, this got tore up. Somebody was, man. Come on, buddy. This is wild, dude. Whoa! Oh, he's just jumping. You're going for it, huh, mountain goat? He's got mountain goat in him too, did you know that? Okay, this is really pretty. Hopefully the bridge lasted. Okay. Down right through here. Come on, dude. Let's see if we can. So this was a really neat little project the Forest Service did. Uh, you know, help keep hikers safe. They built this bridge, but we're gonna need to get a crew out here. You know what? I would like if anybody's interested, it's in the you know in the California area. Anywhere stocked in the Sacramento, anywhere close. If anybody wants to come together in the springtime and you know, do some trail maintenance or any of this stuff over here, that'd be great. Oh, okay, it's not on it, it's next to it. This must have been from that. Oh, you know, I wonder if this was from that atmospheric river we had. Huh, come on, buddy. Because, I mean, this is like, this must have been rushing. So I'll show you where the falls are, right over here. 
Ugh. Wait. So I got Wally on a leash because he likes to wade in this pond right here. So, little but look what happens. Stay here, Wally. Stay with me. Super cool. Dog go right in there, right? Piece of cake. Check it out. Wally, no. He wants to. It's going to get loud. Hang on. Stay here. Good boy. Woo! Ah. That. Cool. Pretty cool, right? I gotta get some pictures. Alright, worst is over. No need to be on here. You stay out of there, okay? Alright, let's go back on the trail. Okay, let's do this. Crazy. Come on. Oh, it's just a beautiful day. Right? Oh, no. Trail Karen. You don't know where you're going, do you? Why is the thing so dirty? Why are all the trees all falling down? Can I speak to Forrest? Oh, they're gonna get chilly. Can you do something about the temperature? Can I call the manager, please? Oh, cool, with that backpack on and all your hiking stuff. You think you just know what you're doing? They used to be helpful. Not so much anymore. Are you picking up your dog poop? I hope you're picking up your dog poop. Come on, buddy. Okay. Now we're gonna break the climb. I forgot what the elevation gain was of this hike. A thousand feet, maybe. I don't really know. Wasn't too bad. Should be coming up to it pretty soon. It's not a very long hike. What do you think, buddy? Good boy. You bite this snow? Uh oh. Whoa. We gotta get the zoom. Where's the snow? Here's your birthday. He's too. Oh my god, he likes the snow. Oh, he bites the snow. <laughs> oh, this is funny. All right. Okay, I'm doing it. I gotta shed some layers. Uh, we're almost there, but oh, we can see the lake now. And then there's Thunder Mountain. And over here is backside of Kirkway and Round Top. All right, you see Diamond Peak a little bit, not really. What is that, right? All right, much better. Got rid of some layers. Whew. Yeah. Don't want to sweat, right? You get all wet. If you stop moving, it's gonna be cold. Wow, it's a pretty day. Sun's coming out. When I put my uh, thermal back in my bag, I, I noticed I forgot Wally's lunch again. I left it in the truck. That's like the second time I've done that. Sorry, well, he looks like he's gonna have to eat half my sandwich. Okay, so I get some views of Silver Lake. Right there, huh? Oh, wow. All right, we should be coming pretty close. Pretty soon. I know you think you're at the lake, but you're not. I know you think you know what you're doing, but you don't. You probably don't even have a map with you. <sighs> Actually, I read an article and I think it was like Outside Magazine a long time ago, back when we read magazines and you didn't have your phones. And it was like debating, are Karen's helpful? <laughs> not in the food industry, but you know, cause they, they do dot the landscape. They're not, you know, they're obviously not something that is, uh, uh, What's it called? You'll not naturally put here. People build them to help you find your way. Uh, so there's definitely a debate. I am, uh, I've used them lots of times. Uh, they don't necessarily bother me too much. It's weird when there's a lot of them. Um, so yeah, I guess the debate's still out. Trail Karen's up, down, uh, I don't know. They just started talking to me lately, but that's just because I, I guess I talk to myself a lot. My dog, right? Well, I, you're good, buddy. Get here. He loves it. Wait. wait. Oh, right. 
And another note, while I'm out here, I can, I like technology. It's uh, it's pretty handy to have. Yeah, I got a back, I got a paper map. Yeah, we got the, uh, I got the compass. You know, around here, as long as you can see where Thunder Mountain is, you always kind of know where you are. But me just saying that is probably bad because that's a, you know, you never want to get complacent. You get turned around on this stuff real quick, especially if you're me. I've been off trail so many times. Oh, but here's the intersection. Um, here's our intersection thing. It tells you to go Allen Camp that way. Allen Camp is like around Silver Lake. And then this is where the thing is. So we'll just follow this here and we're pretty much almost here. Cool. Just try to get away from the wind. But uh so I noticed something. We hiked around instead of this way. So this is Amy Lake, a little bitty lake, and well he's already taken advantage of it. Oh, we going swimming, dude? You're gonna get cold. Cool, isn't it? So still a little bit around the corner. Yeah, we're gonna get at boulders. Windy. Oh wow. Hey guys, well, we made it. I'll show you. There's the lake. This is Granite Lake. This is cool. Definitely worth a little hike. Oh, very nice. Like all the dusting of snow on that. Definitely sweating. Wore the wrong hat. <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go around to the end where uh, where we camped before and take a look. It's windy, I know it's windy. That's a really good rock to sit on and watch the sunset. Here we are, Granite Lake. Uh, better get behind a tree so you don't hear the wind, I guess. But. Uh, so, a couple years ago, I pitched my tent. It was in summer, and I pitched my tent like right here. <laughs> and before I had it done, before we had it like weighed down or anchored down, I just had my stuff in it. We go walking over here to this fire pit, and the whole tent flips over and goes <laughs> along all this hard granite. <laughs> and it scraped up my tent, man. And I felt like that one guy from the, the Peanuts Halloween, the, the, the ghost with the holes in it. But um, this was a, it was a really neat spot. So check this out, put you guys down here, right here. So this was, you know, the tent up there. And then got down this, hard to do if you had, oh, hard to do if you had a lot of whiskey in you, the fireball. But um, this was a great spot to kick it. I loved it. Good spot for lunch too. But I'm not gonna quite eat just yet. Wow, all yeah, right. Here. <clears throat> so um, I noticed a long time ago, many years ago, uh, somebody stashed a uh, like a grill grate. You ever find those? It's kind of old school. People used to stash them in there. It was underneath this rock here. It's gone now. So somebody packed it out. That's good for a service ticket. You don't want animals licking that. All right, it's getting pretty windy. I had to put my layers back on. Temperature's dropping fairly quickly, or at least I'm just getting colder because of, uh, you know, not hiking so much anymore. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go hike around this little thing and see if I can find this spot where there used to be somebody stashed a, a bear uh, a bear can. I just wanna see if it's still there. Hopefully it's not, but uh, let's go. Well, so far, no signs of that bear can. I remember it being kind of stashed in the, in the bush over here so that's good so we picked it up a big old tree boom i'm coming wally just hopped up on that rock like it was nothing oh geez did it again what's <laughs> are you in your element huh 
Are you in your element? <laughs> Come on, dude. Gosh. Watch. I don't know if you can see this. Why get on a rock? Yeah, I bouldered. Be careful. It's one thing you don't want your dog to do, especially if you got a crazy dog like him. He's not that crazy, but you don't want him to get hurt. Oh, man. This is just awesome out here today. It's cool you see the striation in the granite. Phelps bar. Plagioclase, orthoclase. It's been a while since I took geology. Yeah. I really did like geology. All the natural resources classes I took in school. I was in school for a long time. I never wanted to leave, man. That was my jam, dude. Knowledge. Oh, wow. Second guessing my, uh, my boot choice because I'm wearing these um, <clears throat> Columbia, Columbia, they're called the, the Boogaboo. But so I'm kind of going to go through some marsh here. Actually, no, we're going to walk around. <laughs> A little too, a little too wet. Yeah, a real good spot right here. Look at this. Nice fire pit. Well, it's obviously too much water in it right now, but that's cool. Nice big heat reflector. Come out over here. There's no fish in this lake. I mean, maybe there is fish, but I just haven't caught any. Might be too shallow. another neat little camp spot right here. Look at all this leeching. Right? Leeching. Oh, it's so green. That is cool. Oh, I guess. Dog butt. Dog butt. Dog butt. All right, I had to get away from the lake. It was, uh, it's too windy right there. I don't even know if you guys can hear me now, but, um, yeah. The Thunder Mountain in the background here. And then over there is the backside of Kirkwood. So you kind of know where I'm at. Getting cloudy. Anyway, I'm gonna have a bite to eat real fast. Let's, uh, let's see here. Straighten this up. Cause, uh, yeah, kind of hungry. And <clears throat> once again, I forgot Wally's sandwich. Sorry, Wally. Well, he knows. I don't even have your pad, huh? Where you gonna sit? Huh? Doing okay? Yeah. Who's a good boy? You want some chips? Okay, so I got my usual Pioneer sandwich. So I forgot Wally's food. I'm gonna have to give him um, some pastrami and profusely apologize. He'll get it when we get back to the truck. It's my fault because I, I feed him human food sometimes, not all the time. Oh wow, this guy, he smashes. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what is this? You know what, they gave me some stale bread. Look at my bread fell apart. Oh no! That ain't gonna work. That's the first time that's ever happened. Look at this, it all fell apart. I guess you can't always, I got an open face sandwich. <laughs> ah, shoot. That sucks. Well, here, watch this. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, come on, Pioneer Sandwich, what happened? Well, I guess you gotta get one crappy sandwich. No. I don't know. We're gonna just now we just eat like this. Oh no. What cause? Protein style? I guess the place was kind of busy. Yeah, whatever. It's still really good. Well, Okay. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday.
It's good. You like the pastrami? I'll give you a bunch because it's your birthday. I can't believe he's two. According to Wally's vet records, he was born on November 15th. I was looking for a dog for a very, very long time. I went to every shelter in the valley. Couldn't find any suitable right dog for me. I wanted a medium-sized dog. Finally, I got on Craigslist. And I found a guy. He had Border Collies. That's what he called them. I was like, perfect. He said they were Border Collie mixes. I was like, perfect. Call him up, whatever. And this was like after Christmas in 20... What, you're two, 18, 19, 20, 19? 19, 2019? And um, so we have very time to meet. And he's like, all right, <clears throat> meet me in Elk Grove by the, by the Dollar Tree. So I was like, okay. I figured I'd go to his house and meet the parents and all this stuff. And it was a straight up Craigslist dog drug deal. <laughs> it was like, you got the cash? I was like, yeah. Like 200 bucks. But it doesn't matter. I had to pay that more. And I, I gave him the money and gave him the dog. And all of a sudden I had this fuzzy little dog. And uh, he was tiny. He was only eight weeks old, right? And uh, he just started growing and growing and growing. And soon I was like, this ain't no Border Collie. I was like, what is this thing? And he just grew into the biggest, awesomest. And as you guys can see, dude, he sticks next to you. He's got shepherd in him. He's just a really good guy. He's everything I wanted in a dog. He's huge. He's just the best friend ever. So lucky to have him. He's such a good dog. Okay, one for you, one for me, okay? Then we're done. That was two for me, sorry. Two. Let's start heading back down the trail. See if we can find anything interesting. Clouds are getting a little stormy looking, but it's all right. Hi, buddy. Little mini lunch, right? Let's see. Oh. You know what's crazy is um, I'm always really interested in the temperature and the weather. And uh, according to this, it is, it's right at about 60 degrees. Nice. See, I like it when it's a little bit colder, but that's just because it's been a long summer in California. With all the wildfires. We're on the other side of the Caldor fire burn. That's on that side of the, the 88, which just like, that wiped out most of my little secret spots I like to go to. But I trust what the Forest Service is doing. And even though it sucks, we'll make the best of it, right? All right, man. Ready to get going? Go back down the road. Okay, one last look at Granite, or Granite Lake before we hit the road or hit the trail. We walked all the way around it. That was kind of fun. It's all silvery pretty. Come on, mountain goat. Good boy. Good dog. He's got the trail sense. A lot more than I do. <laughs> Oh, this is such a cool trail. Now all the water's all washing this stuff. Come on. Oh, she's... Come on, you go. You have your outriggers out and this stuff. Keep keep seeing these yellow lines or trail markers, I guess. Cause that, that little wash we just went through had like extra gravel, like uh, their, um, 
trail maintenance, you know? This. We skipped, we skipped this part of the trail on the way up because I went around the other way, but forgot about it. It's cool. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see how well he's going to get through here. Good. Right? Let's see. It's cool. Come on, bud. You want him to hurt his paws. Let's see how he does. Oh, piece of cake. Oh, you're a pro. Look at that. Dog. Right? Get yeah. like bouldering. You can climb that. Excuse me, Mr. Tree. Woo. Okay. Looks like we gotta go right down there. You go right down there in the snow. Be careful. Sure footed doggy. <laughs> the outrigger's out. Gotta hold on to this stuff. Whew. Oh boy. Oh. Another blaze. Hey. Oh, that's a cool looking rock. That's cool. Okay, now we're kind of less exposed now. Oh, look at that. I think that's the, is that the ponderosas? Maybe. Like we hit a roadblock. Trail goes right there to that. So, let's see if we can scope away around it here. All right, let's, uh, go this way. Why not? A lot of deadfall this year. Go around the tree. Good boy, Wally. Okay, looks like people have already figured out to go around here. And get around here. Oh, this way. Oh, bye. In the dead forest. Okay. Out of here. Watch Wally, let's watch him jump. Dog. Um, I'm no arborist, but that tree right there, see how it's all brown? And some of it's green? There might be that beetle, a beetle kill. I don't know. But it definitely stands out to me. Huh? Good bud. Can't help it, can you? It's no. We're gonna break trail real quick, and I uh, just kind of want to go over here to the the river. That's all the water coming down from um, Granite Lake. Gonna dump into Silver Lake, and then it's the Silver Fork of the American River. I think was what the headwaters are. We we start at. All right, well, be careful. Go ahead, Mountain Goat. It's cake. Sun's coming out. A little bit. Alright. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna jump. <laughs> Big dude, you're good. How are you gonna get over that? Back at the bridge. I'm not going over there, so I'm not too worried about Wally. Uh, this log jam here. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, good boy. Good dog. I always like this. Hey, cool. So cool. Should have got a self big selfie stick. Okay, back in the forest. Not as sure-footed as my dog. 
Ah. Yeah, cool. Good boy, Walter. You gotta come around there. I guarantee you're gonna be tired later, Wally. He's just running like crazy. Oh. It's a old man's beard. The type of light chin. All over the place. Enter a drone shot here. Okay, Wally. All right, guys. Well, let's see, we are here, back at the trail. See, look, there it is. That was about. I'll have to double check in a second. We'll get back to the truck here. You just gotta walk up and see you. No camp in here. Nope. Too bad, because I would totally camp there. <laughs> there is. Pretty good spot. There's Old Faithful. Matacoma. Right here in the spot. Hey, we did it. Give Wally some food to eat. We'll unpack. Good job, Wally. Oh boy. This is what I forgot to give him. Hungry? Woo! Okay, that was a good one. You did it. Oh, that was a fun one. Oh, oh yeah, let me double check the stats. All right, we just got the stats from our trek up to Granite Lake. And it looks like it was, uh, we went a total length of uh, about three and a half miles. It took us about two and a half hours to do it. It was actually only 40, 40 minutes on the way back. Um, oh, I burned 531 calories. That's pretty good. We stopped for about 40 minutes. Elevation gain on that one's nothing. It was like 800 feet, which wasn't that bad. But um, it was a lot of fun, right? And yeah, we had a good time. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along and sharing Wally's birthday hike with us to Granite Lake. All right, we'll see you next time.